Crumble time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do we want to pass out cookies first so that you yes. guys can eat yes. while we talk about it? <laughs> yes. <Okay>. Definitely. <laughs> All right, AB's on it. Go. A lot of people really enjoyed them. But uh, brother, who let him in? That was a pain Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> no, shut up! Is a he has valid so cookies. So dollars for a smaller bag of cookies, significantly smaller, is a lot too. Like, it, bro, okay, it matter listen, bro, listen, listen, listen. All roads lead to this being an expensive product. <sighs> That's the brass tax of it. God. That is the hard pill. I mean, to he's swallow. not wrong about the crumble. There's really no way of spinning this. We're twenty eight dollars for a special four cookie. pack of it's these so cookies. Good. It's so good. It's a special experience. Expensive. Yes. Yeah. So you've already tried crumble cookies. Do you have anything you'd like to say? First, I would before try we these go. ones. Okay, you want to try them fresh? I do. Yeah, these are fresh. Personally, I love crumble cookies. I think they're delicious. Specifically, one flavor. I think the pink sugar flavor tastes exactly like a cookie my nana used to get me. Mm. It was a cookie on a stick, and it was frosted, and it was wrapped in plastic. If anybody knows oh. what I'm talking about, you know exactly. It tastes the same. Um, so that's my favorite one. They're not to me like I won't order them by myself. I won't order them really to a party. But if someone else gets them, I will. I'll totally eat it. Uh, Crumble Cookie has a business which rotates their menu every single week. So they like interchange and it's like a very special thing that they do. Um, they'll incorporate like banana breads, cheesecakes. There was a banana upside down cake that was in this week's. So they've added some things. Um, there are locations in every single nice. state in the United States. Wow. I did not know they were that uh, oh, okay. expansive. Holy shit. Yep. That was more of a niche thing. Okay, so I, I see you went crazy on the, the one. I le personally like the chocolate chip one, Yula. Okay. It's really good. Let's do... What is this brown one? Uh, is that the Let's banana upside down? This. Brown liquid that they spit out of their mouths. We'll share. Uh -huh. <laughs> you want anything Gross. else? <laughs> I don't want... Oh, here, I'll take half of this. I'll cut it for me. Thank you, baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you like Maybe. to let them know uh, how many calories are in an average one of these cookies? Oh, God. Sure. Yeah. So it fucking blew my mind. <laughs> the all dense. the most calorie dense thing that they had on their menu was the brownie sundae, which was from a few weeks ago, and it was one thousand one hundred thirty calories. What? One cookie. Yeah. A brownie sundae cookie. Yeah. What? It was like it? a thicker brownie, and it had so no, frosting uh, on it. Why even make that? I know. Why do that? It was to probably anybody? really good. Let me ask you, how many colors does the one you like have? Pink sugar crumble cookie. Because that one's pretty par for the course. There's no shot that that. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's for AI for some reason responded 190, which is no. obviously wrong. Oh. It's 760 calories. And what about the chocolate chip? That one's as basic as it gets. Let's see. Crumble. That is insane. I don't want to. Uh, chocolate chip has 720. What? Yeah, I don't know. It's more than a Big Mac for uh, comparison. I mean, so. Why? A lot more. Why? Big Mac's only like 500. 590. Why create that in 2024? Because <laughs> it's good. It's what do you mean? So good. So here's my take. That's insane. I don't even think it's really that much better than average. It's what? not overblown. It's, especially for the calories and price, it is just not a buy, in my opinion. I think it's a vibe, but I don't think that it's a it's like a necessary choice. There's this place in What's New York. What's the I was just gonna Google what's their name? They have it here now too. That place is Those cookies are special. Yeah, those are special. Um, Lena, maybe you remember we ordered from them Lebain is that one that's or blue, Insomnia right? maybe? Uh uh. It's like uh, the blue one. What? Well, I, whatever. I, I went let's, to let's... I went to New York. I feel like I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. West Side and there's always a line, like a massive line. When I went, the, luckily wasn't in line, but those cookies were the best cookies I've ever yeah, had. Yeah, they're the best. Yeah, they're they're really crazy. Lena, do you remember the cookie place where we ordered from them one time? That's it. Yeah. Lit. Okay. No. So, <laughs> although there are locations in every single state in the U.S., there are none in Australia, which gave these people yeah, yeah, who are unidentified an idea. Here, Levain. Why is that's this really gay and Levain. zesty, Zach? Levain cookies. Those are so good. The, oh, the big like chocolate chip massive ones. massive chunks and they're so gooey good. as hell. So good. Yeah, those, are, those, are, those feel more special. This feels kind of like Ralph's cookies, but a little better. Okay, I agree. 
So at Crumble Sydney, that handle popped up on TikTok and at Crumble AUS was on Instagram. Those were the handles that they had. And they began advertising for a pop-up Crumble event that was taking place in Bondi Beach, Australia. Wow. September 29th. It was originally scheduled for September 27th, but it was pushed for flight delays. Uh, If you would like to see what their advertisement posts look like, it was clear that they had grabbed existing ads from Crumble in order to advertise their event, which is illegal because they were not associated with Crumble. At this time, they were not making it very specific. They posted a total of 41 TikToks and four of them specified that they were not connected to Crumble. So this is an ad for what? For the pop-up event in Australia for Crumble Cookies. It's but not, it's not by Crumble? But it's not by Crumble. Just oh. by some random people. By some randos. Okay. okay. But the account again, was just like Crumble AUS, like Australia, Crumble Australia mm-hmm. and Crumble Sydney. Uh, and legit, their posts you, you look like okay. this. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it Crumble looks really official. Is on those domains. Yeah. You know? So um, since the event, their socials have been wiped, obviously, but one of the videos that they posted, it had text saying, Crumble's landing in Australia, one day pop-up store, Sunday, the 29th of September, 12 p.m. till sold out. So this account, as we just said, had no affiliation with the Crumble uh, brand. These are fans who uh, were just connoisseurs and wanted to bring it to (laughs) Australia. Uh, The account advertised that they were importing the cookies from the U.S. um, And they, yeah, later disclosed in their bios that they were not affiliated with the brand. So let's go to the pop-up event, okay? Okay. A single cookie, which is normally $4.90 USD, They were selling it Australian for seventeen fifty, which is in <laughs> USD eleven dollars sixty cents. So they were upcharging the cookies like insane. That honestly mm-hmm. seems like a like a fair price considering if they flew it to Australia. Well, yes, if you're gonna get, talk about the crazy given circumstances that they've given themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. Actually, I don't think that price is that bad given the circumstance. Given the circumstance, should we have Who's done it been? in the first place? Who's paying um, almost, I mean, it, it, in Australian dollars, but I'm sure it feels roughly the same. Almost $20 per cookie. I don't think so. I don't think it feels the same. Okay. Uh, it's valuable Bubba, dollars. You okay. need them. And you are so people who tr- attended the pop-up began posting TikToks complaining. Nobody, nobody, this wasn't viral yet at all. There were just people attending. And then people started posting things being like, my crumble cookie from Crumble Australia kind of tastes weird, which caused oh. people to start looking into this. Mm-hmm. And they were like, who are these people? What was this event? And then it became viral from like all of these videos that I have. Jeez. Here we go. Somebody is asking, what do Try they taste it, like? Though. I have to say, they taste quite disappointing. Really? It's a like, texture thing, I think, is what's special about it. I don't it. know. Mm-hmm. There's, it's not it that tastes special. like butter, like shortbread cookies, kind of. Yeah, it has a, it has a certain like texture that's like interesting, but I don't know. I, I, I threw mine away. I didn't like them. Oh, right? Yeah. It's pretty disappointing. Yeah, well, you, yeah, and it's I'm not, not like a snack. Too wild on like, that. You have to commit to 700 fucking calories. <laughs> Which is insane. I will say insane. this week's was pretty bad. Usually, there's more fun stuff. There will be mm-hmm. like a tres leches uh, mm-hmm. cake. Like, there's not only cake. There's like brownies and stuff like that too. Okay. Yeah. It makes it I more agree. Fun. Some of them are like just very basic. Yeah. Um, very overrated, but then there's flavors. Sometimes they're really good. Mm-hmm. I, when Lena gets them, though, out of all the times she's gotten them, I've probably gotten two cookies that I've liked. Yeah. And she's probably gotten it like three or four times. Anyway, That's sorry. That's not Lita. a good ratio. No. Yeah. I'll, I'll look at the website before I have even think about going there to see if they have anything fun. Yeah, that's fine. So are these the culprits or are these ladies? These are uh, two girlies who went to the Crumble Sydney event who okay. were just trying the cookies in the car. Okay. Find the viral Crumble pop-up in Sydney, Australia. The viral Crumble cookies. <laughs> We don't know so the flavors, we so exactly we're going to like make our own flavors. Because we just got the mixed box. But I know this is off. Can you tell them that your mum's <laughs> in the back door? Who's um, that in anyway. the back? $75 Some, for five. Is that an old lady in the back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the hell? What is that? Their mom? I don't know. She's what? just sitting there, like weirdly watching. 
That is so oh, creepy. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. That's cute. It's like a horror movie. Yeah, just some that's old ladies. So, like, Do they know she's here? Is she a ghost? Yeah. Is that a real she person? Wants their soul. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I saw her weed. You know, it's not a bad cookie, to be honest. <laughs> it's just like, I would have made some fun ghosts. Yeah, but this shit show is. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny how they're pretending like she's not there. I've Look at her. She that just, is she's disgusting. trying to see what's happening. <laughs> They're not even looking at her. Yeah, what the hell is going on with this poor mom? This is elder, elder abuse. Look at peanut butter. Me, hungry, he Okay. Why is she not that getting was, um, any? Yeah. I mean, every not, time like... she talks, they go, shut the fuck up, mom. It's <laughs> their cookie review. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta film it. Uh, <laughs> Stop laughing, That's mom. Yes. Yeah. They actually like, this yeah. is good. That's not easy, it's just a chop. Get out of the frame, mom. Mom. So, so what am I what am I <laughs> gathering from this? So this is some of the whispers are beginning. They're like, they don't taste super good. They don't taste super good. I mean, it seems and then like our reaction. To yeah. It. More just keeps stacking up of people being like, they taste stale. Okay. So we do they not know it was flown from America? No, not no. yet. I'm about to. Was, okay. At this point, everyone's under well, the impression this is like an official event. Well, most okay. Here's the thing. Oh, because they specified, too. they did specify in their many posts, four of their many that they were not affiliated. So most people did attend the event thinking this is just associated with Crumble, and you'll see that I have a TikTok that they posted five days before the event well, of them with the cookies flying back. So at least five days had gone by when they purchased so the cookies. So of course they're fucking stale. And That's when gross. the pop-up happened. It's like we go cookies. They're really, wow. what they're doing is really fucked because they're making their brand. Why would anybody look do terrible. that? That's a yeah. great question. <laughs> well, the, the... Yeah, they're not even, I doubt they're making money. They're making $10. We have all the numbers. I have and all the stats. Your, no instincts, your yeah. instincts are right. <laughs> that they did be not total benefit loss. that much. Yeah. 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 Um, if you want to watch more people eating them, it's pretty much, it's, okay, it's tame. It's them being like, it's stale. After waiting around for 45 minutes, we got oh, I hate this fucking voice filter. Because one is 1750. Why? Why do it? Oh, it's breaking off. Just, it's like just be yourself. It's like something I can make that Anyone else? I kind of like it. I don't really understand what is happening. What am I? What is? I don't know how to describe it, but their it just makes all their voice this weird. The yeah. voice filter. The voice filter, I hate it. Why are they, why would it why? In terms of freshness, zero out of five. Just this. So I hate it. Mm, it's a three out of five. Out of one. One out of ten. But she sucks. Okay, anyways, well <laughs> I keep mine at eight out of ten. Was it worth waiting in line for forty five minutes? Maybe yes because there's no crumble here, but no because people were fighting and all right, all right, the cookies right, are right, seventeen dollars. Maybe you yes. get the idea, they yeah, suck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. So nobody reported getting sick. A lot of people uh complained that they were stale and tasted old. The girls handing out the cookies were clearly acting sus. They were pulling down the blinds at the pop-up. <laughs> I have some photos. And uh, you can see in one of the photos, they're like peeking underneath to deliver it. <laughs> so this is faces. a storefront and this is the door and they have the blinds half closed and they're just kind of like what? handing it out <laughs> underneath They that. have like a furniture in front of the door? It looks like it, yeah. So they just, oh, they just rent like an... an Open they rented a business space? that they were not associated with. Got what it. The fuck? Oh, I see what's going on. Yeah. This is like a normal this? store There's, back there. Mm -hmm. This is so dumb in every conceivable way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, do you think this, like, the white cloth up there is to hide their faces? Because they don't want to be make associated? It feel like a booth. Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, because that's just like anonymity. Like, I feel like it's just to defend, like, to hide their faces. Or to hide their I mean, faces. They must, yeah. Maybe. They must have leaned down. At some point. Right. Well, yeah, I can see it, like the bottom three quarters of her face. I don't. I don't think it's to hide their identity. Really? I think they're just trying to make it. Trying to give booth official. vibe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Very well, successful in that. The event was a bit of a success, seeing that they sold out uh, early. They actually sold out much quicker than they thought they were going to. However, people were not very satisfied. Um, in a TikTok comment from Crumble co-founder. Sawyer Hemsley, uh -oh. which was posted the day after the event, he responded to somebody making it very clear that they were not affiliated at all with that. This is him? That's him. Yo, what? This is the Crumble guy? Let me see. If That's one of them. Him. His name's Sawyer Hemsley. How old is he? Let's see. <laughs> is that a big door? That's not in my research, but let's see. 
He's just very young. I don't trust this guy. <laughs> <laughs> just Already? immediately? No, me neither. What? Why and, uh, is what? he slim and fit and he's making cookies that have a thousand and calories in them? <laughs> oh, that's a really good oh, no, he's, point. He's trying to kill you guys. <laughs> Whoa. He's very young. He's like he the guy like at the, funny. the heart attack uh, yeah, restaurant. Yeah, the heart attack the restaurant. How, literally. What's his age? Um, I'm reading that he's 32. How long oh, has he been 32? This is the first cookie in the entire nation. Yeah, why don't you eat it? <laughs> right. Prove it. Because you're Murder. clearly not eating them. That is Murder. a fucking fantastic All right, so what did he point. say? <laughs> uh, so it's this comment right here, Olivia, yeah. that we're concerned with. So it says, it appears we need to expedite our visit to Australia. Please note this Papa is in no way affiliated with at Crumble Cookies. And why is that door so fucking big? <laughs> or is That's it just Crumble sure. Cookies. Must be That's tiny. Yeah, no, sure. I don't know. That looks like a big door. It's very <laughs> sus. But it's opinion. thin. It has to be he's tiny. The door like it's a closet. Goes up all the way to almost the ceiling. Could be a closet know. door. Just pointing out the weird stuff. <laughs> oh, no, you're right. The questions are stacking up. Mm -hmm. Let's get into the actual exportation of the cookies, shall we? Okay. How they actually got to Australia. Oh, they're saying he has Mormon glaze. Yeah, he does. I yep. see it. Uh, he glows. Is he Mormon? Uh, That'd be crazy. What was his name again? That's not something I. Let me see. You didn't anticipate us. No, asking. I didn't. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't I'm look up his religion. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that should just be uh, standard research on anyone I we know. talk about. Are they Mormon? Yes or no? Wait. Wait. No shit. He is. He must be. <laughs> <laughs> no way. 100%. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. You're so smart. What the oh my god. god. Mormon dar oh my is god. impeccable. It's ridiculous. Dude. It's impeccable. <laughs> <laughs> it's their white, they're slim. Oh. Used. They have like oh. an aura. Yeah, they have an aura. Oh. That's crazy. That is so Can't weird. It. They're super white. They're super white. <laughs> <laughs> they're a special so kind of white. <gasps> yeah, they're like, like Utah State and out. University. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Wow. wow. That's crazy. You're amazing. That's, That's crazy. <laughs> I can't so believe it. I mean, the fact that he's Mormon does add a cynical twist because, like in Salt Lake City, this girl, she sells alcohol. That's her job. And she doesn't drink because she's Mormon. Like, that is so cynical yeah. and weird. Well, yeah. so I'm getting the same vibe from this guy. He doesn't eat the cookies. He's just trying to make. You money. might be on something peddler. with that. You might have actually identified what's no, going on. I don't on trust here. the Mormons. Me neither. Trust the, trust no like offense. That. But full offense. Full offense, yeah. Fuck <laughs> it. You guys are weird. I don't like you guys. They're, your church is weird. Everything you guys do is weird. Love your housewives. The church has a hold on you. You have to get out of there. Actually, just to be I'll be I'll be I'll be fair. Every Mormon I've met is extraordinarily nice. It's true. Which is also part of the problem. <laughs> yeah, that's the issue. They're too good. Anyway, back anyway. to the cookies. <laughs> back to the cookies. Back to the cookies. So, um, you know how we were talking about how the girls, I, I you know, what? I'm not going to gender them. The people flew them from. Um, what do we not know? America. Did it still? I mean, I assume it's girls. It looks like kind of girls in the. If you pull up this video that I have linked. This one, right? Or oh, this is the next link. I POV flying from the US. We, it was fine. They posted we don't a video need to analyze. Them okay. The yes, this is their like vlog. Right, which has since been deleted. Yes. So POV flying from the USA to pick up crumble cookies. And this was posted five days before the event. Um, POV, the, okay, the people right. are requesting ex-Mormon poll to see how many ex-Mormons we have. In the in our particular community? I bet yeah. there's like less than, I mean, I'd say there's like maybe five. Ex-Mormon. It's very low. Poll. Very low. I am ex-Mormon. I am currently Mormon. I, just, I don't think there's that many Mormons. I How many are there? am not Mormon and never have been. Mm -hmm. Boom. Oh, 17 million. So it's like the Mormons have as many as the Jews, maybe. Like, a, maybe even a little. I mean, there's part. a. Yeah. And they are yeah. mostly concentrating in the United States in ah, Utah. Wow. Surprisingly close to the Jewish population. So yeah, they, they all live in Salt Lake City. I mean. I mean, a lot of them. I don't know if all of them live there. Well, is really, is 4% of our audience ex-Mormon? That seems hard <laughs> to believe. Yeah. I almost clicked that one out of accident. <laughs> I think that's just because it was the first option. Yeah. I think there's a few, but... And then 2%, well, okay. a full 2% are maybe currently 10. Mormons, maybe so maybe 10. you need to be a little bit nicer to the Mormons, Ethan. Well, they're so ex-Mormons. Ex-Mormons don't no, no, no. the church. No, 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 no. I'm saying 2% voted I am currently Mormon. No shot. 
You just don't believe it? I don't think a Mormon could watch this show. Yeah, I feel well, like it's a sin actually, if somebody's it. saying, please do a Mormon expose. All right, I'm not. I'm not quite there, guys. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not quite there. All right, let's 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 move it along. Story. Let's move it along. All right, all right, all right. So, is there, is, should we go through more of this, or is it, no? We, just to, got just it. to detail. Yeah. So, something that I have since learned about crumble cookies is that. Uh, they can stay at room temperature in an airtight container for up to three days. This is all of the rules surrounding. So they, from my understanding from that vlog, they were not refrigerated. They were sealed, That's but good. five days. So crumble cookies have to stay at room temp, airtight container up to three days. Simply set them in a cool, dry area, direct out of sun, or store your cookies in the fridge in an airtight container for up to seven days. Alternatively, you can freeze them for up to six months. So it, okay. it looks like they didn't follow I mean, well, they took that's them too on long. Plane. They clearly were not refrigerated on the almost twenty-four hour flight, yeah. right? right. Yeah. We can <laughs> we can assume they didn't bring a refrigerator, <laughs> right? For so yeah, so three thousand cookies broken. or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, how did they even pack that up? Three thousand cookies. They did it through customs. I have a. If you really want to watch, I have a. Did they pay import tax on all the. Yeah, we know all. I have all their the expenses. We know all the finances. They, they must have lost money on this, I think. So I'll tell you right now. After this happened, disaster, so viral, they wiped all of their accounts. They put up their response, they linked a Google Doc. In that, they claimed well, hold that- Hold on, when did this controversy start? When the owner said something? September 29th was the pop-up. Yeah. People started posting the day of, like, yeah. my cookies taste stale, and people were like, what is this pop-up? The next okay. day, it was big enough to where the crumble head knew about it. So every, they knew they were on their case, and they were like, wipe everything. Okay. So they did it, like, right after the event. Got okay. it. Took the money and ran. Yes. Mm. Uh, and so this is their uh, their sort of press release done yes. via a Google Doc, a public Google Doc here. I so. have consolidated it. If you want me to just give you the facts, the important facts that they state. Uh, they say that they never claimed to be crumble, uh, though it, it was implied. They claimed that they imported the cookies. They clarified that they spent 2,663 and another 1,000 on two separate crumble orders to confirm that the cookies the were here. real, because some people were accusing them of not actually being crumble. Uh, they detailed all of their expenses, clarified that they didn't make a large profit. The event was never about profit, they say. We aim to bring the cookies to crumble fans. We did not aim to make money, and some rough costs are I below. I don't believe that. <laughs> Why would you? You wouldn't do this <laughs> yeah. unless you thought you'd be rich, and they just didn't understand business. They didn't I figure think they out. might be stupid, and they just might love crumble. They're just, they're just stands. So. Yeah. Well, here's the info. Profits and costs. This is from their doc. So they're claiming it was 4000 on flights and luggage. Yeah. 6000 spent on the cookies and packaging, 2000s in duties, taxes and customs brokering, and over 1000 in staffing the people to run the booth and then additional costs for all this kind of stuff. With all this, we set prices with the intention of yeah. not How making you a large your profit. Price? You Wait, no yes. cost for the space? That's a good point. It didn't really Yeah, there wasn't really Taxes anything for that. Said and staffing? I don't know. Plus duty. Yeah. yeah, not really. Yeah, they just oh, say additional, additional cost costs. Venue. Yeah. So d just Duty. additional cost. I mean, the Probably venue is usually, that's a big cost. Usually. In LA, well, that would be tiny, your biggest cost. Right, right, yeah. They get a tiny, like, office space for one day. I mean, I guess yeah. they might. Still, it seems LA at least like a thousand, which yeah, yeah, they're listing other So places. they yeah. purchased 840 <laughs> cookies at the very least, and they reportedly sold out. And with all of their expenses, it would mean that they only made about $1,700 total. So all that for a thousand bucks. Sounds about right. Yeah. Right. If you're interested, there's a TikToker named The Life of Amy who goes into depth on like Australian customs and border mm. control. <laughs> we don't have to do that right now. Uh, but so, if you're interested, it's very fancy. informative. Well, how long were they? They went on a plane. The plane ride is like 24 hours. Yeah. How long were they in Australia? They, I uh, presume they live in Australia. Yeah, they seem to be Australians oh. that flew to the U.S., got all the cookies, and then flew back with them to sell. So them. that was like a probably like a uh, 40 or 45 hour. <laughs> excursion. excursion so right. Let me do some math here. You said they made 1500? 1700. So 50 hours, 1700 divided by 50. <clears throat> they made $34 an hour. I mean, that's that's not that bad. Okay. Oh, when you break <laughs> it down that way. Yeah. That's a funny Interesting. comment. They're crumble missionaries. Love that. So true. <laughs> um, They're doing it for the for the passion. To cap that story off, now Crumble has announced that they are accelerating their efforts and they are opening in Australia. <laughs> there it is. Yay. So it kind of works. They yeah. kind of got what they wanted in the right. end. They There's, did. They're yeah. going to be able to get them without flying to the United States. So 
Kind of a win-win. I mean, they made a thousand bucks, you know, and they got the company to open a damn store in their so town. The company's not suing them. Yeah, are they so far, as of right it? now, it's. No, sounds like I a mean, dub. As of right now, it sounds like they got viral like, like a marketing. Jesus is dub. all about forgiveness. But who's who knows? Maybe they you are know? silently. They don't fuck with Jesus. Processing Mormons. something. Yes, they do. They fuck with John Adams, bro. John no, Adams said, you don't know. John who Adams you're talking says, about it's not, not John, John Adams. Adams. Whatever his name is. That stands. And gone. he's the prophet. They they do believe in Jesus. Yeah. They don't fuck with Jesus because yes, they, they go do. black. They're like black people are demons, and they go. I don't know if that is a Mormon belief. Yes, it, it is actually is. A, a, okay. a line in Book don't of Mormon is until nineteen. 80 something uh, oh, yeah, God yeah, changed yeah. his mind about black people okay I'm black trying to people. just like not shit on a whole group of people I'm, here, being, but, I'm uh, telling you okay, the, fair truth, enough. the Mormons believe or at least they did I don't know how you immensely well believe. I don't know you just said it, they're into John Adams which I know for a fact is incorrect no, his name so is I don't know how much I can that. trust coming out of his you his name is similar what's the founder Joseph Smith, Joseph Smith. yeah whatever it's just a white guy name <laughs> <laughs> we found gold don't do John back. Adams dirty like that okay they believe that when Mormons ascend they become gods of their own planet I think that I've heard something like that, yeah. And so there's... Which is kind of dope but lore. If you live evilly, if you don't get to ascend, you turn into a black person. Okay, That's that crazy. seems very racist. It's, it is. It is. <laughs> I, I mean, it might, I think it's even more fucked well, up. Well, I'm happy that. they changed it because it, she, I mean, all of it sounds black horrible. Black just be, <laughs> way worse, even. They also outlawed the um, polygamy stuff, but that still happens everywhere. So, just saying, they probably don't like black people. <laughs> Part of their, it's part of their holy scripture. And then I, I mean, read that she was black. Uh, oh boy. 